really quick in the intro of this video, I totally accidentally don't even know how I did it, but when I was up in Ohio deer hunting at my grandparents, when I checked the trail camera with this camera, I must have put my good card that had all my clips on it in the camera and then I kept that crappy card that was in the camera and put it in this camera, out of my trail camera, into this camera. So I got my SD card swapped around and so I lost my entire intro. However, we are running a giveaway on this 2018 Longhorn as well as this 1991 first gen. So. There's gonna be one winner. The winner will get to pick between the two trucks. This is how you enter. This is the important part. You go to this website right here, team-lmp.myshopify.com. Every $15 you spend throughout the term of the giveaway, which ends December 5th, which is really just in four weeks. It's not as long as it sounds. So December sounds like it's super far away, but it's only four weeks away. Um, and then it's over. But every order that you place between now and the end of the giveaway gets added up together your total amount that you've spent, and then it's divided by 15, and that's how many entries you're gonna get. So if you spend $15, you're gonna get one, you spend 30, you're gonna get two, you spend 45, you get three, you spend 60, you'll get four entries, so on and so forth. So as much as you spend, you just take that total that you spent throughout the whole term, divide it out by 15, and that's how many entries you're gonna get. Winner will get the option between this brand new 2018 Longhorn, which is a little bit dirty right now because I just took it on a road trip and my grandparents' driveway is like a mile long. So it's got all kinds of potholes and dirt and stuff like that. But beautiful, beautiful truck. It's a mega cab. I went all out and got the most loaded out model for you guys. I mean, it's got all the fancy stuff that you do and don't need. The sunroof, the reclining back seats. I mean, just everything, everything, all the fancy stuff. Beautiful, beautiful truck. So you will have your option between that truck or this 1991, which is in really, really good shape. Anyways, both trucks are in awesome shape. Definitely go enter. We have LNP coffee mugs, 16 ounce travel mugs on the website now because you guys were sort of blowing up my DMs and my Snapchats asking about those. So we do have those on the website now. They're only $14.95. And then also we have some koozies and deca new decals, all kinds of stuff. We got these new decals, well, license plates, sorry. And then we also have these new decals. Which, which if you ask me, look absolutely awesome on these trucks. Anyways, definitely go enter, don't miss out. So it is the next day, I'm at my grandparents' place. As you can see with the hooves sticking up, I did get a buck and a doe, but we're not gonna show that because YouTube doesn't like that stuff. But um, looking at my, my new truck here, we're gonna get my grandfather's take on um, the newer style stuff, things that he does and does not like versus the older, more traditional style trucks that he's been uh, more used to driving so we're gonna we're gonna get his take and opinion on what he thinks about the old stuff versus the new one from what you can tell us here's what i can tell you about the old stuff my first dodge was a 78 four-wheel drive it had a bed and a motor <laughs> and a couple dials there to run to operate the heat and the didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> they had vented windows though. <laughs> yeah, it didn't have any power windows, none of that stuff. Now, today, if I had to drive this new pickup, I'd probably get a college degree so I could pass a test to, <laughs> to run it. <laughs> There's some good features in it. Some, uh, you, some you do and don't need. <laughs> Yeah, probably quite a few I don't actually need it when I'm going down the highway. So you're telling me you don't need that camera up in the back under that light? Who would be back there to find? What have you got to watch on your cargo? What about this one right here? Or these beepers so that you don't hit stuff? Well, if they're in my way... <laughs> they're in the way. They're in the way. <laughs> in terms of overall look of this truck, peop some people like the grills, some people don't the new ones like what do you think about the new ones versus the one they've had for years uh, I really like the old ones the new ones I'm starting to get used to them and it takes me a while yeah I didn't like them at first either honestly I thought they were a little bit a little bit too much but I kind of like it now yeah it's getting to grow on me yeah something about it I don't know real wild about the black rims on my vehicles I kind of like the chrome stuff shiny stuff and you know what's funny that you mentioned that is tons of Dodge trucks now come with factory black wheels. Lots of them do actually. When I was on the lot, tons of them had all black wheels on them. When you get powder, 
on from the brake drums. Sometimes it's pretty hard to get off of a chrome wheel. That's just a kind of a bad point. With it black, you don't even know if it's having a problem. I still like the chrome wheels, and I like the old grill. And here's one I want to ask you about because this is a this is one that you've always kind of pointed out. If you come look at this truck, and you look at this little four-wheel drive dial. What do you think about the I little... don't like it. <laughs> I like that gear to pull it back and you know you're in four-wheel drive. Yeah. And probably ain't much ever going to go wrong with it. And when I was getting a, a lake dug, he just bought a brand new Chevy, four-wheel drive. And he went down in the bottom land there where it was kind of wet. He just got this truck. Yeah. So he gets in it to come back up out of the, the wet area of the, where the lake was. It wouldn't work, and they had one of them little buttons you push on the, on a brand new truck. What do you They're, think of what year was that? Because I think I know some of the trucks that you're talking about. Uh, I would say in the 80s, maybe. 80s, maybe early 90s. Maybe. Well, I don't know if it'd be that late, late or not. The late 80s, probably. What I think. Most of you guys that know those older Chevy trucks, I know Jeshua F. You guys, know, a lot of you guys have seen Jeshua F's channel. Um, he's he had a Chevy 2500. It's a 90. It was a 98, but they were pretty much the same until the early 90s. But it's just a click button, and it and it locks it up. Now his, he hasn't had an issue with. I had one. I didn't have an issue with. But there are some guys that randomly it just wouldn't work. I might add, I had to take my old 78 Dodge four-wheel drive to pull the Chevy out of the mud. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think about the interior of this truck though? Looks like better than some cars. They're making sissies out of some of these hunters. And hunters and farmers. Oh and yeah. Ranchers. <laughs> Beautiful truck. It really is. He's like, I remember when all they had was a, an engine up front. They had a cloth bench and an eight foot bed and that was the standard. There that's we that's go. what you got. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, didn't matter. That's what there you, you got. There you go, that was it. So we're gonna go for a drive here. But that's just kind of a little video that a lot of you guys asked about was his opinion on the newer trucks versus the old trucks. And you pretty much hit all the spots most people ask about, which is the four wheel drive, looks, functionality, and kind of what they came from and what they are the now. The old four wheel drives never let me down. That's true. That's true, because we've used it a lot here, especially with all the hills. You guys can see all the hills around. He has used it almost every time we've taken the truck off the driveway. It's needed to be locked in. You just oh, pull yeah. the lever, and there it is. We're gonna get his. We're gonna get his reaction when I push button start it. We got. We got one more question for you. Once you get in here, what do you think about this function right here? <laughs> or or what about this one? I guess I think of all the things that could go wrong, and you're never going to figure it out unless you take it to the shop. What do you think about that one? <laughs> yeah, you really need a sunroof now, yeah. don't you? You got to have a sunroof if you're going to work the bed of a truck, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.